You've seen in my video of the Hollow Mage unboxing that some parts were missing from factory. I've emailed their aftermarket department and they sent me the replacement very quickly. I'll leave the contact in the description if anyone needs it, but I'll show you now how easy it is to add the missing parts. In the package you will find uh, four little bags, each one containing a different part number. So you have the top plate, you have uh, attachment screws, as you see here, a black set and a silver set and the bearing itself. You will soon realize there is not enough space to screw the plate on top uh, due to the outer case. So we will need to remove this first. The case is secured by six screws, three on each side at the bottom of the platform, as you can see here. Uh, at the right hand side, it is covered by the filter. So we'll need to start removing uh, it first before getting into the boats. It's easier if you remove the fat and the build plate itself to open some space. And all you're gonna need is a two millimeter Allen wrench. Once you remove the bolt, all you need to do is to tilt the filter uh, to the front and be careful with the wire in the bottom. Uh, there is no connector, so all you need to do is to pull it forward to reveal the, the bolts. That will be enough. So all you need now is to undo all these six bolts. Once the bolts are undone, all you need to do is to remove the outer case. So with a bit of a wiggle, just you know, popping that out from the bottom should come straight in as a whole. It comes with the pivoting lid as well, so you, you might need to close it to get it out. This. And that reveals the top part of the printer, which should be now very easy to fit the parts. First, just put a plate on and use the four black bolts to secure the corners of the plate. And using the 2.5 millimeter uh, Allen wrench, all you need to do is to tighten that up. Don't go too mental on these bolts, they usually strip very easily. Just make sure everything is snug enough and you don't have any wobbles. Second, you're gonna need to place the bearing. There is a right side up, which is the thicker part up, and that should be aligned with your Z axis. Unless the two little silver bolts just to secure the bearing in place. These will use the 2mm Allen wrench again and once more don't go too mental on them otherwise you might be able to strip them and it's going to be a nightmare to remove if you need to replace any of the components. Finally just double check everything is snug and you have no wobble in the, the rod. Now you're going to put everything on the reverse order so first the outer case sure the corners are aligned with these little stops here and of course the bow pattern and uh, all you need to do now is to tie them up so just adding one bolt to make sure everything is aligned first and then all the rest last on is the filter so from the bottom you just pivot that one up make, make sure you're not squishing the wire at the bottom and then using the 2mm wrench again, just tighten that bolt once more. Final quick check if everything is tight enough. And there you have it, your plate is installed and your printer is complete. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.